Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got another recipe video for you. I haven't shared one of these in a while, so excited to be back sharing just strictly recipe videos. We've got a theme for today's video. It is all about healthy, cozy, easy vegan soup recipes. So I can't wait for you to try both of these because they are seriously delicious. You'll be able to find both of the recipes down in the description box below. The links will take you over to the site and you can make them and follow along. Otherwise, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. Just have the red button that says subscribe. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into our delicious soup recipes. All right, so the first soup that I'm gonna show you how to make is a creamy acorn squash and curried cauliflower soup. We're gonna start by cooking the acorn squash. All you gotta do is cut it in half and then just like any other squash, scoop out all the seeds. And then you're gonna take a baking dish and pour a little bit of water down. It's about quarter of an inch maybe. And then place the acorn squash flesh side down and you are going to put this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until it has softened. While it's cooking, we can prep the cauliflower. So we've got a head of cauliflower that we cut into florets, drizzle it with olive oil, add on your curry powder seasoning as well as salt and pepper, stir that together. And then we're gonna transfer it onto a baking sheet, make sure that the cauliflower is thoroughly coated with the spice mixture, and you can pop it in the oven with the squash and just cook it until the squash is tender and then the cauliflower will also be tender. While it's cooking, let's make the base, sauteing onion and some parsnips as well as some carrots and garlic in some olive oil. If you don't have parsnips or you can't have access to them or can't find them, you can either use potato or you could do more carrot. Up to you, it really, parsnips just add a little bit of a different flavor, but not really that noticeable. So you'll saute everything until it is softened. Then we'll add in the cauliflower, stir that together, add in the squash that we have removed from the skin. So once the squash is done, you're just gonna scoop it out and add it directly into the pot. Then you'll add in your vegetable broth as well as some water and some full fat coconut milk. I like to season it a little bit more with salt and pepper and some extra curry powder, but again, this is really just seasoning to taste, it's up to you. And then bring it to a boil and just cook it for a little while until everything is combined and flavors feel like they've been developed. From there, I like to transfer it into a blender or use an immersion blender to blend it up until it is smooth and creamy. You also can eat this chunky if you prefer chunky soups. I'm just always a fan of creamy soups, so you'll see that we're blending both of the soups in this video, so blend or not blend, up to you. Once it has gotten to your desired consistency and is the texture that you're looking for, you can transfer it into your bowls. I like to serve it with a dollop of coconut milk on top, sprinkle it with some fresh herbs and some pepper flakes. And this soup is delish, super flavorful, super high in fiber. If you wanted to add in some protein, you could also blend in some chickpeas if you wanted or white beans. And it also freezes really well and will keep in the fridge for five to six days. Recipe number two is a red lentil soup. We are going to, again, saute onions, carrots, garlic, in some olive oil. This is the base that I do for most of my soup. Sometimes I throw in celery, but that's what we've got our base is today. Once we saute that, you are going to add in some tomato paste as well as your spices. I also love to season salt and pepper as we go. It helps to build out the flavor a little bit more. Then add in your tomato puree as well as some water and some vegetable broth. And lastly are our red lentils. So we are going to cook this soup on a simmer until the red lentils have softened and soaked up some of that liquid. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes and the soup will look like this. 
pretty thick. Again, you could eat it right away if you wanted to. I like to add in some lemon juice and then I like to blend half of the soup with an immersion blender. I also can do this in the blender, but an immersion blender is a little bit easier. Blend half the soup, it makes it creamy, but it also gives it some nice chunky texture with the stuff that remains unblended. So recommended for texture, but again, totally up to you and how quick you want this to be ready. Again, serve it up. We're gonna do a dollop of coconut yogurt and just kind of like stir it together, make it look pretty on top. Um, drizzle on some olive oil, sprinkle fresh herbs on top. And if you wanted to do some pepper flakes, you could do that as well. But this one is seriously delish and again, is great for meal prep. And there you have it, my friends. That is how to make my two delicious vegan cozy soup recipes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments which one you're gonna try first. I'm partial to the red lentil one personally, but you can't go wrong with either. They're both creamy, delicious, and completely plant-based. As always, the full recipes are up on my website, so you can find the direct links down in the description box below. Also, any tools or anything that I mentioned in today's video will also be linked below, so you can find that down there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and for being here. You can hit the subscribe button before you go, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.